I'm Yuri Arais. I'm here at View Art Gallery, um, here at the Point of Reference exhibition. Um, I am one of the two featured artists in this exhibition. Myself and Christian Nicolay, Vancouver artist, are showing tonight. Um, the show is called Point of Reference because both of us use a lot of found materials in our work and we kind of felt that it was an appropriate name because there's something um, with found materials that we all use, that both of us use, that gives a specific point of reference to all of our work. So that's kind of how we came up with the name of the show. Um, as far as my work goes, my work is not a concise body of work in this show. It's a series of different pieces. And this piece here behind me is an easy one for me to talk to you about because it's a really specific place. Uh, this painting was done the week of the fires in Kelowna uh, a year ago, a year and a half ago about. And um, I really, I rarely do paintings of specific places, um, but when I was in Kelowna at this time, I was in this one neighborhood where the, 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 the hills had completely burnt up until the front doors of these houses. And, and this was truly standing on the other side of the street, looking across the street, this is what I saw. And so this is a perfect representation of what I experienced at that time. And just like in most of my work, um, I think you can relate the pieces to a lot of different locations because they're very, very minimal in what they are. So um, this piece was true to its location. Um, and as far as other works in this show of my own, um, this piece right over here is called 14. Um, to be really straightforward about the piece, the reason it's titled 14 is because there's 14 circles um, on that piece. As far as explaining details about a lot of my work, I don't feel it necessary to tell you every detail, tell somebody what to see in my work, um, but I can tell you that there are 14 circles on that and there's a collage element on the bottom that spells out the word 14 um, in the same way that a ransom letter would be written um, about five times and that those pages are ripped out of an old 1800s Bible to write the word 14 and then above it it's signed 14 with an X to represent the maker of the piece. Um, so that would be that piece in general. Um, all the work is really different landscape oriented except for that 14 piece. That would not be the landscape oriented piece of course. Um, but that's what I would have to say about my work in the show. Thank you. My name is Christian Nicolay and I'm here at the VIEW Art Gallery in Victoria uh, showing with Yuri Arad. Uh, beautiful exhibition this evening, lovely people have come out and uh, been asked to talk about this artwork here. This is called uh, Bird's Eye, but when it was started in 2004, it was actually about the um, swine flu and that whole virus that was going around, the H5N1, and uh, it's fascinating to me uh, certain um, things that are used in the media or, or our system, uh, a so-called system of democracy to sort of instill fear in the people and of course if certain things are happening we, we have to be uh, told or asked about certain things that are in the news but I'm very fascinated by certain um, 
drugs or viruses or things that uh, seem to get more attention than others. Uh, and and now we're into this bird flu, the H1N1. And I mean, there was if you look at flu-related deaths every year, there's a lot more than what the <laughs> bird flu. And it's the attention that's been put emphasis on it. So I sort of. Uh, years later took this old piece that was about the swine flu and now have uh, added H1N1 on top of the H5N1, uh, making it bird swine flu. Uh, but I called it bird's eye uh, because um, I don't want it to be that obvious. But if you look at it and the details in it, I'm sure you'd kind of figure it out. Um, so that's sort of what this piece is. Uh, you know, years of having it under the, the bed and you take it out and the dust and the coffee stains and the mothballs and the spider shit and you hang it back on the wall and you start attacking it, you listen to the news, you get upset, you get inspired, you look out the window, it's another day, life is beautiful, keep on working, put it under the bed <laughs> two years later, take it out again. And a lot of my work reflects that. It's uh, A lot of my work is long-term projects, works that take a long time to develop, uh, things that are about, um, a lot of my themes are uh, time-based, uh, and so a lot of these mixed-media drawings um, are, I have a lot of them that, that that's sort of a lot of my pro process is just to uh, take my time with the work and you know spend a couple years working on and off of something um, and that's more interesting I, I guess I learn more that way rather than just knocking something off and getting it out of my studio thank you very much